All right, so this is a PSA about aphids. So aphids are very irritating. We don't often see them take plants fully down, but they can really destroy your beautiful springtime show because aphids love fresh new growth. Did you just see that water drop hit my head? It's from the greenhouse. So aphids love fresh new spring growth. So for your Saracenia and your fly traps and your you know temperate dresser outside, especially keep an eye out because as those beautiful, fresh, tender new leaves start to emerge, it's really common that aphids come along and they attack them. And when aphids, you, feed off of your plants they cause this really weird deformed growth that's often the thing you see before you see the aphids you notice your plants look weird the leaves are all twisted and puckered and strange that's aphids and then if you look closely sometimes you can't see the aphids but you can see these little white exoskeletons all over the plant and so you know you have them so the trick is you're going to want to use either take down a garden spray or bare three in one so take down garden spray is what you want to use when you see the aphids it's a pyrethrum based spray and then bare three in one is something you want to use when you see them or or even before you see them. I personally, I, when I start to see that fresh growth emerging on my outdoor plants, I spray it with bare three in one just as a preventative. You can follow the package directions on both of those and definitely repeat as needed. I would repeat at least twice because those little suckers are going to come back and it really just ruins your fun spring display. Now just know that that growth is not going to change. So if it's deformed, it's going to stay deformed and it's ugly, but I leave it on because your plant has already been attacked and I want it to still photosynthesize and it can even still trap bugs and some cases. So I leave that on until I have enough new growth that looks normal and then I'll cut off the old growth. But it's up to you. You can do what you like. Now also just know aphids can get in your house and I know that that's overwhelming because people are like, how are they getting in? Do I need to leave my windows closed? They're gonna get in. They're gonna get on your shoes, your clothes. Don't worry about your windows. You can have your doors open. Aphids can get in. They just can. And you treat your plants the same. Bear three in one or take down garden spray. Those are safe for you, sun carnivorous plants. I often see sundews get attacked by aphids, like cave sundews and stuff. And don't worry, they're all really resilient. So just treat your plants for aphids. You can rinse them off if you want with a little water, a little distilled water to try to shake some of those physical aphids off and then treat. And you will, your plant will be okay. It's just gonna look a little rough for a little bit, but that's part of gardening. Sometimes something goes a little bit wrong. I wish that they ate the aphids, but they don't and aphids are just a fact of life. So that's my spring PSA. Watch out for aphids.